Yeah, there were firemen there and everything. Where? At my house. I left my Sith Lord cloak too near my mom's shrine to Italian Jesus, and the candles started a fire. Were the firemen strong? Were any of them the ones from the calendar? My mom's staying with family upstate, but I've got to find some place around here to crash. I'm sorry. Would you like to stay at my guest house? Yeah, thanks. When's good to go over there? Oh, I'm not offering. I'm just taking a survey to gauge general interest. But Liz here has a spare apartment. Ain't that right, Liz? Well, it's not really spare. I bought the place upstairs from me when I thought I was getting a talk show. But I'm going to finish the combination as soon as I either hit the lottery or get married. Oh, fine. You can stay with me. But it's stuff like this that makes me eat things like this. Thanks, Liz. Oh, I'd like to pre-apologize for clogging your tub, sink, and toilet. Frank! Frank! Do you smell smoke? What the hell, oh, Frank? Oh, man! Look! Liz! How can you smoke? It's disgusting. And in my apartment? Wow, an old white lady yelling at me while wearing microwavable socks. This is so different than living with my mom. OK, so I smoke a little as a stress release. I never told you because I knew you'd lecture me. It is not a lecture to simply point out to someone that the episode of Different Strokes about Dudley's dad has proven incontrovertibly that smoking destroys your health and leads to ridicule from Willis. Well, what about you? You can't judge me when you're eating that garbage. This is not the same thing at all, Frank. Dr. Oz did a show about junk food. I saw it because it's on a compilation DVD I have of fat ladies crying. And this stuff will kill you. Manufactured in a facility that also processes food. <gasps> this is what Meat Cat spoke of. So I guess I'll just get one of those little throat radios and you'll be buried in a piano crate. Good night, Liz. No, Frank, that fire in your apartment was no accident. I know. I just wanted to be in control. It was fate. We've been brought together to help each other stop being gross. <laughs> what do you say? All right. But if doing this restores my sex drive, the plus size ladies in the mailroom have you to blame. Goon! <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, Mr. Hornberger. <laughs> <laughs> Funny story. There was a guy on the subway who I thought for a second didn't have any fingers. But then I realized he was holding his hand like this. Listen up, everyone. Frank and I have some exciting news to share. I am quitting smoking. And I am going to start eating healthier. I signed up for a service called New Feud that delivers humanely portioned organic meals. And I took the elevator all the way up here without losing my breath. Liz, God knows you should eat better, but maybe now's not the time. It's show week, and I can't have you melting down, and junk food is your stress release. We all need a release. I know, because Kenneth has taken mine away from me, and I'm worried about what I'm going to do to replace it. While you were talking, I put a thumbtack in my neck. <gasps> Makes me feel something. Well, don't worry about me, Pete. I have a new outlet, my delicious new feud, like my upcoming lunch, autumn tempeh risotto, with salmon rub streusel chunks. Oh. Mm -hmm.